He left all this mess. This is the ceiling it fell in. You would think that after years of showing homeowners taken by unscrupulous contractors in this great state of Ohio, our legislators would do something to earn that title, passing a decent set of laws to help people. Eventually, the front porch collapsed and it actually collapsed with my wife on it. Some who have been swindled out of tens of thousands of dollars. I was at the tail end of him taking my money. I wasn't one of the first that he, you know, he knew he was way in trouble. But no such luck. Ohio is about one of a dozen states that does not have licensing or registration statewide for contractors, for general contractors. We were smelling a doghouse here. The Home Builders Association of Greater Cleveland has been fighting for 10 years to get some sort of licensing requirements for these contractors. We can't stay with the status quo. We're seeing too much damage to our industry, too much damage to the consumer. But the response has been less than enthusiastic, with one member telling me legislators were basically falling asleep when the association testified in Columbus. We're talking about a license just for competency. I would say that some of the people were not attentive to what our testimony was going on. I can pinpoint that it wasn't a priority. So we decided we were going to make it our priority. My name is Hannah, calling Kelly. from 19 Action News. Hi, Senator Turner. My name's Abby, and I'm calling with 19 Action News. The consumer unit called every single legislator up for election last November to ask them what they were doing to help and not one was willing to get involved. Okay. The only lawmakers we know of who have done anything on this issue are Representative Bill Patman, Senator Shirley Smith, and Senator John Eklund. The amount of complaints that we have here in Ohio against contractors is frankly shameful. What are we going to do about this? I've seen many proposals, good ideas for legislation that start out in a General Assembly, they yeah. don't quite get across the line, right. then they come back in the next General Assembly. We pushed for Eklund to introduce legislation. Bill Patman is now working with the National Association of Remodelers. There's always two groups, those that are um, profiting or doing well because of the way things are. Mm -hmm. Then they're the group of us who believe that things need to change because they are not quite going the way they should for the consumer. And Shirley Smith is working on a bill to spark discussions in the Senate. But you'll never guess who's been lobbying against this legislation. The Home Builders Association of Greater Cincinnati. I would think you would want to stop the people who are giving your industry a bad name. We feel like implementing another law is just another exercise in paper that's, that's gonna, uh, not going to accomplish what some people might think that it is. Really? We spoke to Executive Director Dan Dresman by Skype, who said there were already sufficient laws in place and licensing fees would be too high. I looked at the fees. It's about $230 in fees. If a contractor can't come up with $230 in fees for licensing, he has no business being in this industry. Eklund's legislation proposes a sliding scale, which would license contractors based on the complexity of the work they do. And Patman suggests a contract licensing procedure similar to other professions. A doctor, you want him to go through medical school and have a medical license. Well, this is the same thing. If somebody's working on your most valuable possession, they should be licensed. But until the legislators believe this is an issue that will get them votes, they're just going to ignore it unless we as residents put the pressure on. It's not been a political priority, and that's unfortunate because we think it is a political priority. So tonight, our Ohio legislature and the Home Builders Association of Cincinnati are in my doghouse. It's a place you don't want to be.